Creative Growth Arts Center is an art center and gallery for adults with disabilities. And um, we're located at 355 24th Street in Oakland, California. It's one of the oldest organizations of its kind in the United States. Creative Growth has been um, around for about 42 years, founded by Florence and Elias Katz, an artist and psychologist husband and wife team who opened up their doors to folks who were being released from institutions in the 70s and they had nowhere to go. They believed that um, everybody has the ability to create and everybody has the right to create. One day on a whim I just came in, um, like many people do, just off the street and I was just totally amazed with what was going on. The creative energy within our space is like no other, and the folks who attend Creative Growth do not pay a fee. They receive 50% of sales in our galleries, and then we provide all of the art materials to them. I um, collage, I do wood, I paint, I draw, so. Mostly I do flower pots. Drawing, and, yeah, and of course I like doing painting, and I like about doing ceramic. In the last 15 years, we've had several artists work collected in the um, uh, New York Museum of Modern Art. Um, many of the artists exhibit work internationally. My art is in, actually in the San Francisco International. I've had my art sold in Berlin, Paris, and New York. Last year I sold $1,177 of my artwork. Artwork is, is its own language and its own means of communication and people who can't necessarily communicate verbally for whatever reason can often communicate via their artwork. Culturally, there is discrimination towards people with disabilities. Now it's better than what it was, but it is still very prevalent. People with disabilities are one of the most uh, disenfranchised groups in our society in general, and I think that it translates directly into the art world. You know, there's always a lack of credibility given to their artwork, or, um, you know, their artwork is often exoticized for one reason or another, and so there's just a lot of um, hurdles and obstacles in um, representing somebody with disabilities as a professional artist. Once people they're brought in by the artwork and then they start digging into what is this place. I think the first reaction is usually surprise. Everybody wants to be wanted. Everybody needs to be needed. And when you can give that to somebody, it's priceless. I love art because it gets me out of my house. Before Creative Growth, I was staying home watching TV. I put all my emotions and power and all that stuff, goes and my sorrows and my ups and my downs and whatever, that goes into my art. The obvious um, aspect of the program that's really special is the artwork. I think it's some of the most amazing and honest artwork I've ever seen. But for me personally, after being here for 10 years, I think that the sort of community of artists working together is one of the most kind of remarkable and inspirational things. Greater growth is just a fun place to come. There's no other place like it. We have our very own community family because we always come together when we have downs and upsides and in-betweens. They're just fun to be around. We can laugh, talk. I love them very much. They make me happy. It's infectious. They're kind of love and excitement and energy is totally infectious so you can't spend 10 minutes here without getting kind of pulled into the community. It is a place for people to go where they are empowered and enabled to um, to lead and to and they're given a voice. They have a feeling of self-worth and self-esteem to know that what they can do is wanted, appreciated, and admired. When somebody comes into the gallery and sees some work that they're amazed by, it, I think that does sort of smash those stereotypes about what people with disabilities are capable of. It's shattering the notion that um, people with disabilities um, are somehow different. 
the disability goes away, you know, and, and whatever kind of preconceived notion we have of, about disability goes away and, and it more than anything just becomes this studio of people making art. Mm -hmm.